Hey Malia, what's up, girl? How you doing? What's going on? How's life? Hi, Clara. What's going on? I haven't live streamed in a really, really long time. So I decided to just hop on because I wanted to see what you guys were doing and what's up and how's life. Because I know a lot of us are stuck at home. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? Hi. Hey, Ava's voice. Hi, hi. Hi, Mia. Hi, Riley. Hi, Zareen. I'm trying to say hey to everybody as they come in. Hi, David. Hi, hi. Oh, I'm sorry, Justin. Your volleyball got canceled. Hey, 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 hey. How are you guys? What's going on? What have you guys been doing since you've been home? Yeah, so it's really hard because a lot of the parks and recreation are closed where I am. And because of that, you can't play outside a lot. So, I mean, I've seen people try, but it's not working really well. Hey! Hi, David Beloso. Did I say that right? Hey, Lily Billy. You guys have been doing online school. How is that going? Hey. I hope it's not too chilly outside because I'm about to go film something. Thanks, Claire. I'm so inspired by you. I'm a new volleyball player and your channel helps so much. Thank you. So, you guys can ask me anything that you want to ask me while I'm here. I only have like 20 minutes or so. So, you can ask me anything while we're here right now. Thanks, Aisha. Yeah, our inspiration. If you get a net and pop it up, then you can play. Yeah, so a lot of the volleyball seasons have been canceled. And it's really hard for that to be happening, especially if you just started playing or if it was your senior year. Oh, okay. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. What is a good way to process spikes? So right now, because we don't have nets, the best thing that I would do is start working on your spiking approach. So the longest thing that took me to learn when I started spiking, because you guys know I'm an outside hitter, I had to learn how to do my approach. And getting your timing for your approach is no joke. So I would start working on that three-step approach or that four-step approach just to know both of them. So that way you know how to do both of them so you can figure out the timing for you. Do you have any tips on overhand serve? I can't get over the net. So one of the things a lot of people forget is you need to step into your serve. So you're not just tossing it up, you actually have to step into it to kind of get that momentum and that torque from that arm rotating. My favorite volleyball position? It changes a lot. Like, do you want to name the position I would like to play? Or if I could go back and do it all over, what I would choose because I have, I have I've changed my mind. Online school seems overwhelming. I think college classes that were online and I am going to announce the giveaway videos in this next video. I've been playing volleyball for 10 years. I'm having trouble with my receiving form. Okay. So when you're serve receiving the ball, you're having trouble digging it and getting it to the center. Is that what you're talking about? Do you think we'll be going to school next year? You know what? I really don't know yet it really depends we gotta just take it ear take it by ear day by day what's my favorite position okay so my favorite position to play is the outside hitter if i could go back in the day and like change my mind honestly honestly i would have been a setter i would have been a setter how am i doing i'm doing okay do you have any tips for becoming an elite passer and how to pass well so you have to start you pass before you dig, okay? So you should definitely start working on passing with somebody tossing you a ball, getting that ball control, making sure you're working on your ball control, you're able to navigate, you're not getting overwhelmed when you're passing, then start working on getting the down ball so you can start getting it to a specific target. You have to have a really great amount of control when you wanna be a libero. So that means that you need to be able to, if it's coming straight to you, you need to be able to turn that ball any way that you need to get it to the center possible. Yeah, the libero is a very important position. Absolutely, they're the best passer on the team. Thank you, Malia. I live in the UK, I'm debating to start volleyball. You should. It is absolutely worth it. It's absolutely worth it. How do you jump higher? Start working on your quads, so on your leg strength. 
and also your approach. So a lot of people think that they need to jump high or they need to do jump training or they need to start working on their jump. But if you work on the approach to going to, to hit the ball, sometimes your approach can be tweaked so it works better for you. Oh, thanks. It is worth it to be a libero, absolutely. You need agility, okay? You need to learn, work on that passing form and you need to be able to navigate the ball anywhere it is. I mean, hustle, just straight hustle. Straight hustle, that is a really cool emoji. What kind of emoji is that? Thanks, Kaylee. Let's see, I'm trying to read as fast as I can. How do you choose your position when you never played club volleyball before? You wanna try, so one thing I always recommend people to do is to kind of look online and see the kind of different positions that there are. So that way you can choose the best position for you. So you don't wanna choose something that you feel like you have to do, or if you're tall, you feel like you have to do this, or you're short because you feel like you have to do this. You wanna do something that you're passionate and you know you can stay a long time in. So that means that if I like personally trying a little bit of everything to see what you want to do and where your best fit is. So I played for a long time as a middle blocker to come to realize when I was in college that middle blocking wasn't my favorite thing to do and I really liked to hit. So when I transitioned to outside hitter, I realized I was home. It was where I needed to be this whole time. It is really hard to pancake. I would recommend doing the pancake last resort because if you can go in for a pancake, you can pass the ball jump float tips okay so i do have a jump float video but it was a quite long time ago so with your jump float you want to definitely make sure that the ball is right over that serving shoulder so you don't completely just ricochet it off everywhere and that flat that hand needs to be like high five flat it needs to be completely high five flat so i know that when i teach the overhand serve you snap your wrist when you're serving for like a more of a top spin serve straight high five hi do you think i should try for volleyball as a freshman sophomore get more experience go in freshman year. I didn't do freshman year. I would definitely go freshman year. Good ways practice. Okay, so Addison, right now, what I would do is, I know that I talked about the Volley Pal um, in my last video, because right now we can't really go play volleyball. You wanna work on that spiking of that hand motion, because a lot of people have noodle arm when they're spiking the ball. Like, they, they get the approach. They get up there and it's just like Pfft. So working on getting that, that hand motion, the snapping motion. So a volley pal is really great for that because you can kind of do a down ball and practice on that. Oh yeah, Kiera. Uh, Clara, don't, don't. You have a sprained thumb, don't. Don't do it, girl, don't do it. So to work on your agility, there is this thing, maybe I'll link it. Have you ever seen that yellow ball that has other small little nodules on it that when you bounce it, it goes any way? That's one way that I worked on my agility really, really well. It's tough to get that. But working on agility, another way, if you have a volleyball at home, you can have somebody like, I'm actually gonna do it on my video today. Should I just tell you guys anyway? I mean, I'm about to do, I'm about to do it on my video today. Hi, David. Okay, if I'm only going to be a seventh grader, not that very tall, should I wait a little bit? Absolutely not, go for it now. The more experience, the better. You need experience. The more experience, the better. Yeah, I sprained my thumb once. Ooh, it's not fun. How to practice picking up a spike serve. So, do you mean by yourself or somebody else? Because I can do definitely, I can definitely do some videos with somebody else, which is how to get over your fear of diving. Now, diving sometimes is unpleasant. It, especially if it's a hard floor, but you really have to understand that if you learn how to dive the right way, your fear can start to go away. You have to learn how to dive the right way. And one of the ways that a lot of coaches start talking about diving is they lay down those, those gymnastics mats and teach you how to dive the right way. So until you've been taught that way, of course you will be apprehensive because you're afraid to hurt yourself, but just understand that when you get taught to dive the right way, it, everything will clear up for you. How do you can stop flinching when the ball comes your way? That takes time. It takes time because anybody with any kind of flying object coming to your face, <laughs> of course you're going to flinch. It takes time. And the more you start to play and the more experience you get, the more you will stop being so apprehensive about the ball coming towards you. So just, it takes time. A lot of these things will take time. It, it doesn't, it's not one of those things that, you know, 
you just start playing and you're really good. Like it took me a couple of years to be good. And that's not saying that it will take a couple of years for you. It took me a couple of years because I had a lot going on. Okay. But it takes time. I saw somebody said their coach sprained their hip while diving. Back in 2014, I pulled my back while diving. I was out for six months. It was a pretty bad sprain. It was a pretty bad sprain. Have you done a video on diving before? I have not done a video on diving yet. I did one on the pancake, but not the actual dive and roll, which I can do. Thank you, Sophia, for that very nice um, compliment. What are other sports that help with volleyball? A lot of volleyball players I saw do track and field on the side. I mean, I, that's what that's what I did. But a lot of a lot of them did track and field inside because track and field is really great for conditioning and getting you in that athletic shape. You know what I mean? So because they do a lot of running, and burning, and cardio, and not everybody likes cardio. So. You're so welcome, Natalie. Let's see. Absolutely. So, um, I don't know if you got it. You guys knew this because I think a lot of you guys are really new to my channel. I didn't start playing volleyball until I was in 10th grade when I was like 15 turning 16. I don't know if you knew that. Thumbs up if you already knew that. I just want to just want to get like a feel of who knew that. 411 girl you can be the best libero the fastest libero the quickest libero you better go out there and do that thing should i do volleyball in or out of school both get the most experience you can get the absolute most experience you can because the more experience and the more contact you get on that ball the better i'm telling you i'm five four and want to play in college so i don't think that what is your favorite position that you're already playing i'm talking to nias who, who, who is your favorite position that you're already playing? Any tips for indoor, uh, indoor high school? Indoor is so fun, but indoor has rules. So I know that outdoor and beach is a little bit more flexible in things, if you know what I'm saying. Indoor has rules and there's like lanes you have to stay in. So when you have a job, that's your job. Like you can't do other people's job. You gotta do your job. So I would definitely start looking at the strategic and strategy about indoor and learning those rules. So you understand what's going on. Because outdoor is kind of like, that ball is over there. It's cool. I'll go get it. But indoor, it's like, I'm not, that's hers. That's hers. I play outside and middle right now. Okay, so what I would do is, because of your height, I would definitely consider libero. Especially if you feel like you're not going to grow anymore. It would give you the best chance to play in college. I'm answering so many questions, guys. And a lot of you guys who feel like you're short on the shorter side, I think that you guys are pretty young, yeah? Drop how old you are. I just want to see kind of kind of the audience of, before I give my next advice, I just want to see how old you guys are. Because um, I stopped growing when I was like 16, 17. So if you're like 13, 14, 12, 11, 13, 14, you have room to grow. You have, yes, yeah, you have room to grow. Definitely wait on that. Wait on the, the height thing because should I tell you my shocking story of my growth spurt? Because it was real deal, okay? Real deal. Listen, when I was in the seventh grade, when I was in the seventh grade, I was 410, okay? 410. Seventh grade. And seventh grade is like what? You're like 13 then, right? Okay. I was 13 and I was 4'10", okay? When I got to... You ready for this? Are you ready? When I got to the ninth grade, I was 5'9", dog. Okay? Then I got to 11th grade. I capped off at 5'10". A beautiful 5'10". If you're wondering how tall I am. So not saying that you're going to grow that fast in like that short of time, but you can grow an inch or two, but don't let your height hold you back. Never let your height hold you back. You go for that thing. Don't let your height hold you back. Have you been caught cheating in a game? I always try to be honest in a game. If I didn't get it, I didn't get it. If I touched it, I touched it. 
how do you stay motivated in quarantine? So one of the, that's a really good question. Motivation in general. So I want you to know that what's going on right now is it is okay to be unmotivated because there is a huge thing going on right now. So even if you don't feel motivated to practice, that's okay. What you're doing every day, that's great. You don't have to always go out there and do, like every minute of your day doesn't have to be productive. Just do the best that you can and that is the greatest enough. They do, they sure do, Kaylee. Sure, people do have advantages in volleyball, absolutely. You better do that, Kai. She said, I'm 5'2 outside. Bravo, girl. I have watched Haiku. It's in my queue. Yeah, so I'm making a video today. Hopefully it's not too um, chilly outside. I'm making a video today about some more things that we can do during quarantine. But then I also want to make a volleyball um, like conditioning video. I think it will be really helpful because if you're like me, you need to be working out right now. So I see a lot of you guys want to do um, uh, overhand serves and stuff. I see a lot of overhand serves. But first, before I answer that question, I want people to tell me in the chat right now, what's one thing that you're really good at? It doesn't even have to be volleyball. Just something that you're really good at. What are you really good at? Let me think about what I'm really good at. Baking. Ooh, sleeping. Me too. Thinking about baking, watching anime. Valentino, give me a different answer. Receiving, flexible, underhand serves, math, drawing. You guys are good at some good stuff. Guitar, supporting, receiving, English, dancing, watching anime, back sitting. Math, art, writing, skateboard, baking, hitting. That's a good one, sports. Hey, look at Vivi's guitar. You better do, you're trying to make my whole day. That's what you're trying to make my whole day. Eating, I'm, I'm good at that too. <laughs> okay, let me think about what I'm good at, huh? I'm really good at video games, y'all. Like no, no cap, like really. I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing lately, like a lot. Too much Animal Crossing as of lately. I love baking too. I'm trying to bake some more. I bake those cookies though. I am good at making videos, man. I do have TikTok. I mean, have you guys seen my TikTok? I mean, I haven't posted on my TikTok in like a little bit, but I mean, I do have TikTok. I have a really nice island on Animal Crossing. I'm not going to cap. I do. I am going to be a coach. Thank you. Yeah, I play a lot of Animal Crossing. Probably too much. Um, my TikTok is, I think it's Coco.Volley or Coco Volley. Thank you, Addison. My TikTok is Coco Volley or it's Coco.Volley. Yeah. Okay, so what are some basic things coaches look for in indoor tryouts? You have till July. Okay, let's just run it all the way down. If you need to take get a piece of paper, I'm going to get a piece of paper because I'm going to tell you that to you right now. Number one, here's some things that, that we look at when you're trying out for high school. I want to see coachability. Now, I know I talk about coachability a lot. Coachability is defined by how well I think you will meld with the team how well I think that you are going to be able to understand the concepts, how well I think that you are going to work towards the team. I'm looking for somebody with a great attitude, somebody who I say, okay, let me fix your form. They're receptive to that. I don't want someone who's gonna go, man, I didn't even do no wrong. I never did no wrong, you know? I want you to understand that what I'm doing for you is the best thing that's gonna be for you. I wanna be helpful and I want you to understand that I'm being helpful, okay? Number two, I wanna look for basic skills. So that means that some coaches want to see, it depends on what team. If you're trying out for like an advanced club team, they wanna see what you can do. I wanna see what you can do too, just because I wanna understand where athletically you are. So passing, okay? Serving, setting. Setting is probably minute on that list because setters are a more specialized position and they're not, I mean, they're looking at it, but at the same time, you know, um, hitting, okay, hitting. And 
um, on all of those skills, the most important, I would say, it does depend. I'm just going to say that. It varies. I would say they look at passing and serving a lot. I've been playing for 10 years, Aisha. Can you be in a good team even if you're not the best at serving? Oh, yeah. There's always a way to learn for serving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. For sure. Love you too, Jackson. Thanks. Hey, Chloe. So I don't really coach right now um, because of what's going on with the life, but I do private coaching in my area. So I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, and that's where I coach. So I coach one-on-one. -on -one. So let's say that you were like wanting to get some coaching one-on-one -on -one because you want to go make your club team. I would coach you one-on-one -on, -one on growing your skills. Yes, that's correct. If you are a libero, a great skill to have is setting because most liberos can set. So if something happens to the setter, the libero is the next best chance. That is a great, great observation, Angela. How does that a good school schedule for balancing volleyball and schoolwork? So what I would do when I left home was I had volleyball practice right after school for like two and a half hours. I would get home and do my schoolwork, but just prepping ahead. You might have to use some of your weekend to get some of your schoolwork done a hand ahead of time but taking it by stride and day by day don't stress yourself out don't stress yourself out take it day by day so you're having a bad issue um with some balance hmm i'm gonna research that for you i'm gonna research that for you and take a look hey chloe so you might have the opportunity where you'll catch a growth spurt but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bank on that. I would start working on that hitting approach so you can learn how to adapt even if you're on the shorter side to hitting. You're five ten and eleven. Whoop. Girl, don't let nobody make fun of you. That is a fantastic thing. Let's see. Somebody wrote me something and I'm scrolling. I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this this uh stream up. So that way you can see it. Because I know I talk pretty fast. So I'm going to leave this up. Because I just. Hey. Let's see swagger like what. Hey. How did you play for. So they had an open club. Bye. They had an open club volleyball. Um, what is it called? Tournament. It was an open club volleyball tournament. That was going to raise money for the club team. And that's how I played in the tournament. Because it was a reverse co-ed. So that means that women can hit on a women's net. However the men had to hit from back row answer that question okay so Chloe I'm thinking about doing online coaching but I just want to see who would be interested in that give me a thumbs up if you would be interested in doing online coaching with me because I'm trying to like figure that whole thing out and um, I just want to see who's interested like if we could get that going because I would love to do that it would just make my day to like one-on-one -on -one go hey girl let's do this hey girl let's work on that um, I want to do online coaching so bad, like so bad. It would be awesome. I'm five to a. Wow, there's so many thumbs up. You guys would really be interested in that. It would be so cool. That would be awesome. Yeah, I would love to do. That. I would love to be able to like video conference you, and we do skills one on one, and I demonstrate it, and we work it that way. That would be awesome. Awesome. Let me think about what I'm gonna do. If you, let's see, if you want to do online coaching, okay, with me, I want you to get a piece of paper right now, and then thumbs up when you got the piece of paper because I'm gonna give you my email address. I'm gonna give you my email address so you can email me. When you're ready, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna write down my email address so you can see it. Okay. Hold on. All right, cool. All right. Here's my email address so you can email me. It is cocovolleycontact at gmail.com. Let 
my at is like crazy looking dog. Let me fix that because it looks weird. <laughs> it looks super weird. Okay, does it look a little better? Look, okay, I'm trying. I'm struggling out here in these streets. Just screenshot it. <laughs> Are we all good? We, we're good now? We're, we're, we're doing great? Cool. We got it. You can email me so I can email you back. Great. So if you're interested, yeah, yeah, it's all lowercase. Thank you. Have you guys seen this before? This is my yoga dogs. They're all doing different yoga poses. Look, legit. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Thanks. Yeah, it's, I have a dog thing. I have a dog thing. Yeah, I'm gonna make a workout video. Probably not today, because I'm gonna go outside shortly in a minute to do my outdoor, like, workout. Um, and then I'm gonna post a video. I might post a video later today. It depends on how fast I edit it. If you email me, I will get back to you on that. I gotta, I gotta work out some kinks. I wanna play volleyball when school best, best starts back up, but my team isn't the best. Yes, you should try out and I'll tell you why. You should try out because you need the experience to get your hands on the net. Now I have played, listen, Coco has played for some teams that weren't the best. Not at all. Not at all. You can just email me, Mari, and say that you were interested um, in volleyball coaching online. It is 5.44 p.m. Can somebody drop in the chat my email for everybody else? But, yeah, I've played for some teams who have not been the best. But I went. I went anyway. And I knew it. I knew going in this was going to be rough. But I went anyway because I wanted to get that experience to work on things. I wanted to be able to work on things. Mary Claire, I have a video coming up on that, and it's going to be awesome. But to be recognized, I would definitely start working on your skills and your niche. That means what role are you going to play? Are you the outside hitter? Are you the setter? Are you the libero? I want you to exemplify those skills. That means that I want you to, if you're a libero, get out there and pass. <laughs> if you're a hitter, kill the ball. Get that serving percentage better so that way your stats, because volleyball, they do take stats. You guys know that. They do take stats, and you want your stats to be good. Oh, you guys are at nighttime? Y'all up late watching me? Cool. I'm feeling that. Yeah, somebody dropped my email. Oh, I'm just gonna drop it right here. I'll type it. Oh no, I can't. Somebody type it. How do you play for a club team or where do you find one? So what I did was I tend to do, uh, you can do a Google search of your area, like volleyball clubs near me, okay? And see if there's one there. A lot of recreation centers got them. Um, so I would look there or your school team. So I would definitely get more involved as possible. So if that means playing club, play club, recreation, play recreation, all of that. It's late. I don't know where you, where are you guys from? Tell me where you're from. I'm in North Carolina. So that's Eastern United States. Yes, you can, Clara. Absolutely. Michigan. We got Texas. We're somebody's in Sweden, England, Cali, ooh, Romania, Michigan, New York. Be safe out there, New York, Canada, Ohio. You're in Charlotte. I'm in Charlotte. Mexico, Virginia, Greece. <gasps> Such great places. Wow. I want to visit you guys when this is over. Virginia. I'm in Virginia a lot. Um, Nevada, Illinois, Coventry, England. Minnesota. I've been to Philly. Remember, I used to live in Pennsylvania, um, Canada, Nebraska, Carolina. Woo. I've been to Germany, too. I have not been to Ohio yet. Is that in Russian? It looks like it's in Russian, so I'm going to assume Russian. I don't know what position I am. I don't know what to practice during quarantine. I read that in that capital letters. I read it in caps. What I would do is I would first look at the video I posted last week about things that you can do by yourself. And then look at the video I'm going to post later, maybe tomorrow, about what I'm going to do when you can do with somebody else. And those are two great videos so far. 
and then my workout video and then other videos I'm gonna post soon because all I'm doing right now is at home stuff because I can't go nowhere and you can't go nowhere so let's play volleyball at home yeah playing basketball is great cardio how do you deal with social anxiety so one of the things is to slowly integrate yourself into slowly interstate yourself into social situations so you can get a little bit more desensitized to the social situations i'm not saying go to like a party like with a lot of people and that just be the great thing i would start slowly hanging out with one or two people at a time so that way you can get a little bit more comfortable in social settings and that way you can expand a little bit more oh i forgot to tell you guys i have a patreon now do you guys know what patreon is how do you feel less calm before a game? I have a routine before a game. I listen to music before the game and I'm just like, get the world out of here. I'm feeling it, I'm jamming right now. Like, that's what I do um, before a game, for sure. Yeah, if you don't know what Patreon is, Patreon is a website where you can go and you can support creators. Yeah, that is correct. That's my email, cocovolleycontact at gmail. My favorite uh, position I played was outside hitter. Can you have long nails? I wouldn't recommend it. My nails grow pretty long, but I cut them a lot. So I would keep nails short because um, one time I had acrylics and you know I was just living my best acrylic life and they were so pretty. They were so, so pretty. And then I broke my thumb off. <laughs> and when I tell you the worst pain I've ever felt, it was like step on a Lego pain, but it was like step on a Lego barefoot pain. That's what it felt like. Yeah, so the video I made last week didn't include the, include the wall, which is super helpful. Um, the video today only requires somebody else. So I'm going to be doing it because I just need to work out. And then I think I'm going to put my volleyball net up today anyway. Bye, Clara. You're so welcome. Do well in school. Oh, I'm seeing you see the questions are coming so fast. Okay. I'm 14 and 5'6". I love playing back row. Yeah, okay. So what I would do is get... I would I would go everywhere and try every kind of position. So even if you are... It doesn't really depend on your height. I would go and try everything to see something that is comfortable for you. Hi, Talia Taylor Lacario. Did I say that right? I'm announcing the giveaway winners today. I've been playing volleyball for 10 years. Do you consider it being a good idea to play another sport? Now, it depends on what sport. Like, is it something that you have to be super dedicated at? Probably not. I did track when I was in high school. I did indoor track and outdoor track, and that was really great because it gave me um, a really good cardio background. Like, I was ready. So when volleyball season, I was already ready. That wouldn't be fun, Aisha. There's only 78 of us here, and it's like everybody else is over there, you know? I have long nails and play all kinds of sports. I wouldn't do acrylics on sports. Ooh, girl, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, it really depends on the person. I personally don't like having long nails because sometimes I'm just like, and I hit my hand and it hurts, <laughs> but practice. I am not a good singer, y'all, so I am not going to sing. Yes, Wagger, like what? Come on, let's play. Let's do it. Hi, Chloe. There is really no best height for a libero. Because there are some liberos that are my height who are 5'10". So I think that it really depends on if you want to play that position or not. Do I want to do TikTok dances? Look, I'm not trying to be a TikTok trend, guys. Like, I know how to do the renegade, but I'm not going to post it on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? How to be a good setter. I've been working on setter for, like, ever. I've been working on setting forever. Um, I would definitely start working on that ball-shaped hand and making sure that you're understanding how to push the ball out. So that setting video that I have... Um, really was a really great explanation of how to set. I do have a video of how what a volleyball manager does. And that is the volleyball manager that was on my team when I was playing. And I interviewed her. You should go watch it. Yeah, I, I need to do one. I need to get some mats so that way I can really properly show you guys slow move. 
So Emma, I think the coaches are gonna look for your basic skill level. They wanna see that if you're able to pass, set, serve, if you're coachable, those are the things that they're looking at. Thank you. I dyed it recently, as you can see. It's like this burgundy, no, I'm sorry, not burgundy. It's like this blondish color. Yeah, I have that overhand serving course, if you guys forgot about that. So I have that overhand serving course on Teachable and it goes really in depth of overhand serve. I think a lot of people forgot about that. Like it's like a legit like course course on volleyball. I think I'm gonna discount it soon so that way you guys can take it. What time is it? Almost time for me to go, guys. I got like five more minutes before I have to go outside and play grass. Yeah, yeah, I would coach 11 year olds for sure. Yeah, I would coach 11 year olds for sure. One of my main goals is I wanna be able to come and coach you guys or find a way to coach you guys online. I would love that. I think I'm gonna make the online coaching Yes, the online coaching would have to cost money so that way I can do it like full time with you guys and just keep, keep, keep coaching. You guys want to do that? Let me write this down. So we're working on diving right now. We're still working on our serving. So hold on, diving. Go ahead and tell me what else we're working on. Serving. Oh yeah, if I started a class, that would, oh, what if I started a class? Who put that in there? Let's see. Look at you, Bella, out here setting everybody else up for success. Hitting. Yeah, yeah, Danielle, for sure. Rotations, we're gonna work on rotations. I'm just gonna start a whole volleyball school. Just a whole school. Passing, blocking. So should I just write down like everything? I'm just gonna put everything, everything. We wanna work on everything, Coco, everything. Just everything. We're just doing everything. Okay. Cross shots. Yes. My favorite thing to do is hit cross. Setter. Have you seen my setter dump? Boy. Listen. Listen. It's the trick set. Footwork. Huh? Footwork. Yes. Overhand. Look, man, we got it all going on here. Everybody's just throwing Google Classroom in here. Jumping drills. I might do a video uh, in a minute when I I have somebody helping me out with my video today. Let's see who that is. I think this is the first person I featured on my channel. Yeah. I just wrote everything. I wrote everything, guys. It's cool. We're going to work that out, Chloe. We're gonna work that out. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna like mind meld and brainstorm on that. Okay, guys, what time is it? Ooh, snickerdoodle. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go. But I wrote down all of these beautiful, beautiful notes. I'm going to Ooh, synchronized attacks. Ooh, let me write that down. I'm going to live stream again, probably on Sunday, and follow up with you guys. But make sure, if you're not following me on TikTok, do that on TikTok, okay? And email me. If you want or are interested in volleyball class, shoot me an email at cocovolleycontact at gmail.com, and I will try to respond to them as quickly as I can possible, okay? 
Um, and then we can, we can, we can work on it. Okay. All right. Peace. See you guys later. Stay safe. Email me, Mary Claire, because I'm think I'm gonna have to think about it. I do have a PO box. Do you want me to give you this before I leave? I'm gonna put my PO box. Um, where should I put that at? In the comments, maybe. Look on my Instagram story. I'll put my PO box on my Instagram story. All right, peace. Bye, 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 bye. It was nice seeing you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. I gotta go film. Bye.